we hear all the time about the importance of taking a multivitamin to help round out our nutritional needs. But are all vitamins created equal? And how do you know which one to take? Well, Dr. Jenny Wilkins from Age Vital Pharmacy is here to help us understand and figure it all out. Is a multivitamin something everybody needs to take, Dr. Jenny? Absolutely, because we are not getting everything that is required from everything that we eat. You'd have to eat a side of a cow in order to get all of the nutrients that you need to sustain a healthy you know, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so, and if you ate a side of a cow, you'd be fat, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So, right. so which one? And not There's everybody so has many. really good eating habits. Right. My gosh, if, if it, my kid, one of my children, my goodness, they just started school, lives off of chicken nuggets and and your corn kid, dogs, your kid, your kid. and what is the other one, mac and cheese. That's not, you know, like to get her to eat vegetables. Oh my gosh, can you imagine right. if she didn't have any of her greens, any mm -hmm. of her fruits? So I have to give her, you know, supplements that, you know, replace what she's not taking in. And there's a lot of people like that, especially the elderly too, they're not eating a lot. They're sitting around be being, you know, just not doing anything, mm -hmm. being well, Isn't that why, like, like Insure is good for things like for people, right? Right, so yeah, your supplements. You, you need to Make it. sure you're taking care of your muscles, right. make sure you're taking, care of your skeletal system, making sure you're taking care of your brain, your cells, but I mean all your body requires, the same. Well. but not all vitamins are created equal. 90% of vitamins that you see over the counter are not regulated. Oh so not so regulated? If they're, yeah, not regulated. So you can have Joe the pizza delivery guy that just opened up a vitamin mm -hmm. shop, but he's sourcing all of his supplements from China, from India, so then they're full of toxins. Like so what? What types of toxins are we talking about? Yeah. We're talking How about things like, Ooh, look at uh, that. like lead, for example, <gasps> oh a lot my. of vitamins have lead mercury and PCB so then you're getting all this heavy metal toxicity and PCB that's chlorine in our vitamin supplements even supplements that you're buying from like Walgreens or CVS or Trader Joe's and if it's not a regulated supplement then it's gonna have poisons in it so formaldehyde that's a huge one you guys oh know my. what formaldehyde how is? Can, how can that happen? <laughs> how can that's that what be? they used to embalm people yeah. you know so then you're having toxins and you're building inflammation in the gut in your cells and then people are taking something that's supposedly supposed to make you feel better but then your joints so are hurting, you're getting for? migraines. What do you look for on a vitamin to know that it's good? Clean? Vitamins, you want to make sure it's made in a regulated facility. Like I'm, I have a pharmacy. I'm a regulated facility. Every three-letter agency is in my business. So you're looking for things that say uh, CGMP or GMP, so good manufacturing process. So they're in there making sure that the quality, the control, you know, everything is being regulated. And so always be look for that logo. That's if it's very not on good there, to know. anywhere on the it. like, look at the vitamins like. Nature's Bounty, right. uh, Centrum Silver, for example, none of that has that CGMP logo on Centrum there. I heard Centrum was like the worst vitamin to take. The absolute worst. They have great marketing team. What, they that go out there. Say that? Yeah, <laughs> no. it's the it's number one Am vitamin found in porter potties. <gasps> oh, okay, yeah, they That's did a great, study. Man. Yep. Who's looking in there? So. You can clean it up and rebottle it and resell it. Well, no, whatever, no, because what it never breaks down in your gut. At my age, I wonder, should I get the gender or the age? Because they're divided up into gender, age, male, female, all that. Oh. Which right. should I choose? Um, you can, well, everybody can just take a multivitamin. So, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. For children, you're going to be taking a little bit less. The elderly are going to be taking a little bit less because your metabolism right, is slightly different. Right, they're different Right, it depends <laughs> on your lifestyle. But I do, you know, recommend a vitamin A through, you know, zinc type mm -hmm. supplement. I have lots of my favorite, you know, supplements are all CGMP, Vital Plus being one of them, but Orthomolecular is a really good, you know, product, the Vinci Laboratories. Those are the top three that I can think of that are CGMP. There's about 10 companies in this country so that are only those, regulated. Yes. Oh, that's right. so good to know. <laughs> well, you can go to visit her at Age Vital Pharmacy on Main Street and get all this information, or you can go to the website for Age Pharmacy. And next, we're going to be revving up our motorcycles. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.